you guys and Nick Rikis. welcome back to another video and today we are doing the FNAF custom plus showcase uh, we have quite a few submissions and yeah um, so I decided to save a lot of customs that I was sent um, for like the next video so we can keep this going because I do want to keep this series going for as long as I can but yeah I do want to say thank you guys so much for 174 subscribers. You guys are making my dream come true. So thank you all so much. We're so close to 200. And that means the world to me. Um, yeah. So this is going to be awesome. we got a lot of great customs. I will not be showing any of mine in this video. Next video I will though. Don't worry. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's get right into this. All right, first up, we have this really cool Endo O2 plush. It was made from like this like, good, like really cool looking metallic fabric. And also I like how the per um, the person gave him like metallic strips. Sorry, sorry, Endo strips like with black felt. And uh, the face is really good. The ears are really cute. It's just, uh, you could definitely tell who the character is. It's Endo O2, of course. And I really like the type of fabric that they used for this plush definitely different i have never seen it before and yeah this is like one of the most unique endo 2 plushes i've seen which is not that many but because most people make endo 01 so it's good to see that people still care about endo 02 all right next up is to go with the new fnaf ar character magician mangle and this plush looks incredible like i love how it looks like the, um, I love the wand in the Endo's mouth. It is so cool. Overall, the design is great. And that looks more accurate to a Mangle. Like what a Mangle plush would be like if it was game accurate. Because not only is it accurate to the skin, but also the body is more accurate than Funko's. But you know how Funko is. Um, I do very much like this. And this is a really, really good like, custom. I very much enjoy it. I um I love the gray body like personally I would love to see a mango plush officially made like this but you never know in the future overall great great plushie all right next up we have this amazing toy Bonnie it looks so good this looks like the official Bonnie plush just if it was toy Bonnie and personally I like it more than Funko's because like Funko's just looked really weird like the face was differently shaped and overall like it's still a good plush but this one definitely takes a cake because not only they got the funko body like perfect they got the head it looks way better the colors are better and the muzzle is adorable the eyes are adorable i love the big bow tie and the big feet it's just a great plush all around and i would honestly love to see a toy bonnie like this officially made in the future that would be really awesome i would totally buy that all right next up we have this really nice cute bon bon plush it's uh, clearly made like um just like as a little small plushie but it looks so adorable it looks like he just came out of a uh, fun time trading he's just waving hi and it's so cute Bon Bon overall is like one of the cutest characters in my opinion. It's just great and I very much like it. And this looks really good. It has the nice blue color. It has the one button on his belly and the really cute bow tie. The uh, he the, This person got the colors all correct. And for such a small plush, I am very much impressed. So great job. I would love to see like a bonnet in that style and like to have like a bonnet and bonbon uh, like imagine having that on your shelf i have the official bonnet so eventually i would love to make a bonbon so i can have like them together that would be really cool to have but this bonbon looks great and honestly i would love to see this makes me want to see more bonbon merch and more plushes of that character in the future all right next we have lemonade clown and fruit punch clown which is honestly probably the most unique plush set i have ever seen these characters like i thought everyone forgot about them like i love every character scott has made all of them are equal small or big role i love them i even love the paper pals they're in my top five but these plushies look great i'm very happy that they decided to make both instead of just have one so it was good that they were going to finish the set if they were going to make them. So I'm very happy that they're made and I'm very happy that they 
are so loved that they actually have merch out there. So it's really good to see that people actually care about those characters. Because personally, I love them. Because uh, they're just... One's German and one's Russian. That's awesome. Like, that's just... Only Scott would think of that. And that's just the thing. And the small characters and big characters just mean so much to all of us for how much effort Scott put into their personality. But I'm very happy these plushes exist. And great job making them, honestly. Next up, we got a really cool one. We got a Mr. Can Do. That's really awesome. I love Mr. Can Do. One of my favorite from Trash in the Gang. And it's really good to see that he got a plush. I'm very happy that they did not uh, put the strain on there so that his head wasn't floppy. They just gave him the trash can uh, um, for his body, the sticks for his arms, and the balloon for his head. And it, it was drawn basically just like how he is in the game. It's a really nice plush and I'm very happy that Mr. Can Do finally got a plush. I am going to be making my own yet again. I'm going to try to get to all the characters that I want, and which is a lot of them. So I still have ways to go, but... Uh, trash in the gang will definitely be coming soon, but I'm very happy that Mr. Kandu got some love in plush form and it's great to see honestly and I'm very I very very much like this plush and great job for a roommate it Next up we have this really impressive two set um, We have Roxanne Wolf and Montgomery Gator These already look way better than the ones released by Funko they look really good, they look very detailed, and they look game accurate. And that's more than what Funko could say about theirs. So, already this person wins. I love Montgomery's jaw, it looks so good. The purple on his feet looks great. And also Roxanne, the hair is actually good this time. Muzzle, it overall looks fantastic. I love the two plushes together. I would love to see a whole set legitimately made and made well with better material and everything, not like felty fabric like that Funko used, but still, I very much like these plushies and amazing job to whoever made them because like they even got Montgomery's belt. Like, look at that. It's so cute. All right, next we have a glitch trap. That looks really sad, but it still looks really good. It looks soft as fuck. I want to give it like a huge hug and I want to put it all beside all my other FNAF plushies. It looks so adorable. I would love to own my own glitch trap. So hopefully soon we get one one day, but you never know if Funko, honestly, we just like secure like security puppet and Frostbear. No one predicted that. No one could have, but I'm very happy that Glitchtrap is getting a lot of customs because it's such an awesome character. He deserves, like, he deserves official merch, but unfortunately, we haven't gotten any. So, let's leave that to the fans to make better representations that Funko could ever do. Because honestly, that looks really good. The muzzle, the whiskers, the ears, the body, the bow tie, the vest, it looks great all around. And I love this plush. Great job. All right, and last, and definitely not least, we have this Endo plush, and it looks really good. I very much like it. The gray fabric that they used looks like, uh, well, one, it looks soft. It doesn't look scratchy and all that. And then, like, the jaw looks great. The eyes are black and white, like, on how, like, um, it is in the game, like, when, like, they get ready to kill you, which is really awesome. I'm very happy that they added that in. And also they gave it like Ennard's uh, or in baby's style of body. I very much like that. If they make an endo plush, I think that is what they will do. And it, I love it. It looks so, it's so simple yet so good. I very much like this plush. It looks great all around and I'm very happy how it came out. So um, thank you very much for that submission. I very much enjoyed looking at this. All right, and that's gonna do it for today's custom plush showcase. Sorry, it's not as long as it usually is, but you know, you're gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to keep some customs for a later date so I can like, keep this thing going. Um, I want this um, series to go on for as long as it can. And if I have to delay it sometimes, then of course. But I'm very happy for all these submissions. Yet again, all credit goes to the people who made these plushes, not me. To them, great job for everyone who was part of it. If you were part of it, let me know in the comments below because great job, all of you. If you guys want to submit any, link in the description below to the Discord server so you guys will be able to submit your own and I'll be able to feature it in the next video. I do one uh, custom plush showcase a week, so make sure you guys keep on submitting plushes. I'll keep on doing it. 
I very much enjoyed this one. I had, we had a lot of great submissions. Great job, everyone. Thank you guys all so much for watching. So please comment, like, and subscribe. All that good stuff. And please consider joining the Nicker family for almost daily gaming content. I love you guys all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Roll the credits.